Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you my very first time canning a whole chicken. If you'd like to see how that turns out, stay tuned. A colleague of mine called me and said that they had chicken on sale for $1.79 a pound. So by the time I got to the store, there was only three left. So I only took one and I have partially cooked it two thirds of the way. The ball blue book of preserving said you could do that. I had to put it in the refrigerator so it's kind of congealed with the fat and skin and stuff. So I'm gonna be skimming off the fat and processing this chicken. Disclaimer, I have never processed a whole chicken before. This will be my first time. So you all will see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And let's hope this turns out well. So let's get started. I went and got a pair of gloves. My hands are clean. I've already washed my hands. All of my surfaces are clean. All of my jars and everything that I'll be using today is clean. I've run everything through the dishwasher. But the reason why I did it this way is I don't like, oh, look at that. That's nice and congealed. Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. I'm going to need a spoon. Let me get a spoon. I'm going to have to move some of that because that's actually like fat and bone broth. And I don't want to get rid of that. So let me get a spoon and kind of get the fat out the way. And then we're going to deal with the bone broth. Now that I have my spoon, I'm just going to peel back that fat trying not to disrupt that bone broth and i'm going to show you what i mean in just a second i don't want to get rid of that Ooh, this is nice and congealed Ooh, wow i did a good job cooking this in the instant pot i'm going to move it out the way and i'm going to show you what i mean by bone broth Let me get that fat okay can you all see this nice gelatinous substance here that is bone broth that's broth and that's the good stuff that you want in your meals that's what you need and so i do have some skin that i partially pulled off when this was hot i'm going to move that out the way i don't want skin that's another reason why i went ahead and partially cooked this because I wanted to be able to easily get that skin out of the way. And this right here is skin. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way in order to get to the chicken and the bones. I'm going to save the bones for another project. That'll be another video coming up. If you wanna see what I do with that, stay tuned for that video. All right, so la now that I've moved some of that skin, and that fat layer that was on the top. Let's get into this and get this canned up. Since this is cold, my jars are also going to be cold. So let me get my jar. I pulled out a 26 inch mason jar, square mason jar. I have it here with my funnel and I'm going to go into the pot. I still have a gloved hand and my bones are still very much intact. I need to take my bones. I'm gonna move them out of the way for right now. I don't want any bones in here. So when I feel a bone, I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm just gonna peel that meat off of that. That's a bone. And while I peel the meat off of these bones, I'm gonna take the meat and put it in the mason jar. Now these are tiny little bones. It's got a little bit of meat around it, but I'm going to move that out of the way. I don't want to deal with that just yet. So let me get this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a whole, I can feel it. This is the whole chicken right here. Ugh. I'm pulling it up. This is like a back or something. It's, it's breaking apart some, but as you can see, the skin is falling off of it. I'm just going to pull that cold skin off. There we go. And I'm just going to take these pieces of chicken just like this, pulling them off the bone because that's a bone. And I'm going to put them in my mason jar just like that. So I'll be back once I get this all filled up.
Now that I have filled up my jars with meat, I'm going to put some of the broth from inside of the Instant Pot insert into the jars. Now I still have to put a little bit more meat in here, but I will do that. I wanna make sure that I have enough broth. So let me do now, that. Now the broth still has chicken pieces in it. I wasn't able to get all of the chicken out. Now when you're putting broth in your jars, you have to make sure that you go slow because there are lots of solid pockets in your jar. You see that when you put your, your plunger, your whatever you're using to debubble, um, did you hear that? How when you put that liquid in there, it makes that sound where all the air is releasing. That's why you gotta be very slow with putting your liquid in, just like so. And I'm gonna take this to a one inch headspace. I'm just trying to move that meat around. I may have to take some of that meat out, but there we go. That's jar number one. Perfect, one inch headspace. Let me do jar Let's number two. Over. So now, like I said, in, in the Instant Pot insert, there is broth with bits of chicken, as you can see. As I'm pouring it in, it does have chicken. I hope that I got all of the bones out. I did go through it, but there's always the possibility of there being a tiny bone. I'm hoping that's not the case. Hope you heard me. I'm hoping that's not the case, but that's always a likely possibility. And I'm just trying to move this around to get all of the air pockets out. I've tried to get all of the skin out. There's still probably gonna be a little bit of fat. I'm not gonna concern myself with that. Let's see if I got one inch headspace. That's why I wasn't worried about adding a little bit more chicken because I know that there's chicken inside of that broth. There we go. Look at that. That is beautiful. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to take my vinegar and my paper towel and I'm gonna wipe the rim off. And I'm actually going to take some jars and I'm gonna jar up the broth. I'm not going to let this broth go to waste. It does have some chicken in it. I can use that broth for any number of meals. It's exciting just the idea of being able to have a little bit of chicken piece pieces in a meal. There we go. Clean that off, make sure I didn't get anything on there, make sure I didn't transfer anything. My lids are off to the side, just like so. I've gotta get a ring for that one. It's over on the other cabinet. So I'm gonna continue to fill up my 26 ounce mason jars with the rest of this broth and then I'll be right back. And I'll be putting this in the pressure canner for an hour and 15 minutes. So let me get the rest of the jars filled. So now that I have my other jars available and out of the dishwasher, I'm just gonna add the broth to these jars and get them in the canner as well. So I'm just gonna fill these up and I'll be back. that I have my two 26 ounce jars filled with the broth and the little bit of chicken bits that was left over. I'm just going to clean off the rim of these jars like I did with the chicken jars. And I'm gonna get these in the canner with the chicken and they're gonna process for the exact same amount of time. And like I mentioned, this can be used for anything that you're going to be cooking in the kitchen with as a broth as an additive to something just to spice it up. Don't throw this away. Now that I have my chicken and the broth in the canner, before I start the canner up, 
I'm gonna clean up my Instant Pot insert just a little bit. I'm gonna just wipe down the edges because it's a little messy, but I'm not going to literally clean, clean it out because it has bits and pieces still left of the chicken bits that you see here. These are the bones and a few little bitty pieces of chicken left on these bones. I'm gonna put these back in the Instant Pot and make some bone broth. So let's get that started. I'm gonna try to get all the goodness I can get out of the remaining bits and pieces of that chicken. I still feel like there might be a little bit left that it can render. So I'm gonna do my best to make it give me what it's got. So I'm gonna fill my Instant Pot insert up to the fill line with some fresh water. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. I'm gonna take you all over to the Instant Pot and I'll show you what I'm going to put in here. But we're gonna see if we can make some bone broth or just some chicken stock, whichever comes first. All right, we've got it up to the fill line. Let's go to the Instant Pot. It's the weekend and the kitchen is hopping. So it's time to start another project. The canners have been going, going, going. And today is no different. So let's turn on the Instant Pot. Making sure it is on steaming and not venting. And I am going to hit the soup broth button and let this go. Now let's go back to the canner and get that chicken processed. The chicken has come out of the canner. I've also bottled up the leftover broth that had chicken in it. And I have some smaller pint sized broth, just straight broth as well. I'd like to thank you for coming along with my canning journey. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, share my video, leave me a comment. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can receive notifications every time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the kitchen or in the garden real soon. Bye for now.